Once again, good day everyone and welcome to RA channel where I will be sharing with you topics like hydraulics, pneumatics, electronics, and control. If you think this will help you grow as an individual or interested to learn, kindly click the like and subscribe button and watch this video until the very end. And if ever you know someone who will benefit from it, please share this video or copy and paste the URL provided on top of your screen as well. Okay, our topic will be about the 5-point current calibration and formula. Uh, assuming this is in linear response, then let's see. So we have a design exercise here. A pressure transmitter produces a signal of 20 mA at an upper pressure of 4 bar and a signal of 4 mA at a lower pressure limit of 0 bar. So develop a 5 point, uh, 5 point calibration table for the pressure to current relationship and what signal are expected at 0 0.2, 1.4, 2.6, 3.8 bar respectively. So first we need to do the 5 point calibration and, and how are we going to do that table. So let's, let's have a table here. So there will be a column for our percentage and a column for our pressure bar and our column for current in milliamperes. So it, see, it says here in our exercise, a pressure transmitter produces a signal of 20 milliamperes at an upper pressure. So we just write here 20. Okay, wait, I'm going to change my point, my mouse into a pen. Okay, so we will write here in uh, 20 milliamperes, okay, mm. and four bars. So this will be four. And I will write here 20. And it says here uh, 4 milliamperes at a lower pressure limit of 0, for bar, 0 bar. So this will be 0 and this will be 4. So what we did is we divide this range into uh, 5. So if we have a 0 to 4 bar of range, of pressure range, so in between of 0 and 4 there will be here right here 2. And then 0 to 2 in between, we have 1. And then 2 and 4 in between of them is 3. So the, when we divide the range from 0 to 4, 4 we will have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Together with the current. So we have a range of 4 to 20 milliampere. If we're going to divide them into 2, so uh, 4 and 20, the middle is will, will be uh, 12. Okay, so 4 and 12 in, the, in between we will have 8. And 20 and 12 we will have 16. So the division will be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And then we will just write here at a lower pressure limit that will be our 0%. And that this will be our 100%. Therefore in between 0 and 100 we will have 50. 50 and 100 we will have 75. 0 and 50 we will have 25 so this will be our 5 point calibration it means that at 0 percentage we have a 0 bar and an output current of 4 milliamperes together like this one at 25 percent our pressure will be around 1 bar and the output current in our transmitter will be 8 milliamperes 2 bars 12 milliamperes 13 bars 16 milliampere, 4 bars, and 20 milliampere. So this is how we're going to create our 5-point calibration table. So that's very easy. But actually, there's a more uh, efficient way or accurate way to do this one. And with the use of the formula. We have this formula here. So again, we're using a linear response. So we have a linear milliampere is equal to 4 plus the quantity of 16 times the quantity, double quantity of the reading that we're going to compute minus the low limit, close quantity, divided by the high limit minus the low limit. So in this case, so we need to find our high limit and low limit. So in our table here, so we have a high limit of 4 bar here, 4 bar, and a low limit of 0 bar. Let's go back on here. Okay, a low limit of 0 bar. Okay? So, let's assume we're going to compute this one. 
Okay, at 50%. How are we going to get the milliampere current at 2 bars? So, definitely, we're going to use the formula. Again, we have this. I'm going to change this one into pen again. Okay. So, we have here in linear in milliampere is equal to the 4 plus the quantity 16 times the quantity of the reading so our reading will be at 2 bars so 2 bars minus the low limit will be 0 bar divided by the quantity, our high limit will be 4 bar minus 0. Okay. So, let's try to compute this uh, equation. So, 4 plus the quantity of 16 times this will be 2 minus 0. That will be 2 divided by uh, 4. Okay. So, that will be 4 plus the quantity of 16 times 2 over 4 or this will be 1 half and 1 half of 16 is 8 so definitely this will be 4 plus 8 and it will be equal to 12 that will be 12 milliampere therefore at 2 bars so I write let's write it here at 2 bars okay we will have 12 milliamperes on our pressure transmitter as you can see here that we have uh, derived earlier so this will be our set point of 2 bars already so definitely we will have 12 milliamperes so aside from dividing the table into 5 okay we can use this formula to compute for our current in milliampere okay so let's proceed to our next uh, problem so it says here what signal are expected at around 0 0.2 1.5 2.6 and 3.8 respectively okay so this we're going to definitely use the formula okay we cannot just derive it just like the five point elevation table but it's more better and it's more efficient or effective to use this formula so let's proceed with the 0 0.2 bar okay we're going to compute the 0 0.2 bar so we will use this formula so linear in milliamperes is equal to 4 plus the quantity 16 times uh, our reading will be at 0 0.2 bar 0 0.2 minus the low limit of 0 divided by the high limit of 4 bar minus the low limit of 0 okay let's compute for this equation so 4 plus 16 times that will be 0 0.2 divided by 4 okay so Again, what is 0 0.2 over 4 times 16? So, we're going to compute for that. So, we're going to use a calculator. So, here's my calculator. So, that will be 16 times 0 0.2. That will be equivalent to 3.2. But, it will be divided by 4. Divided by 4. So, that will be around 0 0.8. So, 4 plus uh, 0 0.8. Again, we're going to change it into a pen. So, that will be 0 0.8. So, 4 plus 0 0.8. So, the answer will be 4.8 milliamperes. Okay. So, at 0 0.2 bar, okay, we will have uh, an output reading from our transmitter of 4.8 milliamperes. Okay. So, let's compute for our next uh, pressure. 
So at 1.4 bar, so let's try here. So given with the given our equation, so linear. So oops, I'm going to change it again with the it into a pen. Okay, so we will have here linear again in milliampere is equivalent to 4 plus the quantity of 16 times again our reading will be 1.4 bar so 1.4 minus 0 which is our lower limit divided by uh, 4 minus uh, 0 okay so at 1.4 bar so let's take we're going to compute for the uh we're going to compute for this equation so 4 plus 16 times so this will be 1.4 over 4 okay 1.4 over 4 so again so what is 1.4 over 4 multiplied by 16 so this will be 4 plus again we're going to use our calculator over here so this will be 16 times 1.4 divided by 4 so that will be 5.6 so 4 plus 5.6 okay so let's my pen again and that will be 5.6 so 4 plus 5.6 is 9.6 so that will be a 9.6 milli amperes that will be at 1.4 bar again let's go back at 0 0.2 bar we have a 4.8 milli amperes at 1.4 bar we will have a 9.6 milli amperes Okay, let's compute for the 2.6 bar. Uh -huh. Okay, so at 2.6 bar, again using the formula, linear in milliampere will be equivalent to 4 plus uh, the quantity. 16 times again so we will have a reading of 2.6 bar minus 0 again divided by 4 minus 0 okay computing for this equation so we have 4 again plus 16 times that this will be 2.6 over 4 Again, what is 2.6 divided by 4 multiplied to 16? So, we will use our calculator again. So, here's our handy calculator. So, 16 times 2.6 equals 41.5 divided by 4. So, we will have a 10.4. So, I will just write here 10.4. Okay, so this will be 10.4. So adding these two, it, it will give us 14.4 milliamperes. This is for our at 2.6 bar. We will have a pressure uh, output, a uh, current output from our pressure transmitter of around 14.4 milliamperes. Again, next, we will compute again for our 3.8. Okay, at 3.8, so using this formula, linear in milliamperes, so it will be 4 plus 16 times, again, this one in this case is 3.8 minus 0 divided by 4 minus 0 computing for this equation again 4 plus the quantity of 16 times that this will be 
divided by 4. Okay? So, what is 3.8 divided by 4 multiplied by 16? So, let's use our calculator once again. So, this will be 16 times 3.8 equals divided by 4 equals, so we will have around 15.2. Okay, a value of 15.2. So, 4 plus 15.2. So, we will have a value of 4 plus 15. That will be 19.2 milliamperes. Okay. Therefore, at 3.8 bar, we will have a value of 19.2 milliamperes. So, let's try to put this into a table. Again, let's go back to our answers. So, at point 0.2, we will have a 4.8. At 1.4 bar, we will have a 9.6 mA. At 2.6 bar, we will have a 14.4. And at 3.8 bar, we will have a 19.2 mA. So, let's put it into a table. Okay, 4.8 at 0 0.2, 1.4, 9.6. At 2.6 bar, 14.4. And at 3.8 and 19.2. Now, we're going to insert our values before uh, on our five point, calibra uh, 5 point calibration so here they are so as you can see here let's try to analyze 0 0.2 is near to 0 bar therefore the value of the current is more nearer to our uh, previous value which is 4 milliampere okay here 1.4 1.4 is almost near at 1 so, we'll have a value of 9.6, which is almost near at 8. Again, 2.6. This one is more nearer to 3. So, the value of 14.4 is almost nearer to 16. And here, a value of 3.8 is almost nearer to 4. And a value of 19.2 is nearer to 20. So, this will be our uh, reading or current reading would correspond to our pressure reading here from our pressure transmitter an input reading of these pressures will give us a current reading of this one so when it comes to percentage so this will be the, the value we will have a 5% here 35, 65 and 95 how do I compute for this one Okay, how do I derive or arrive from this uh, answer so I will have another video for that so, I want you to stay tuned, uh, continue to like and subscribe. So, I hope you learned something for today. So, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Any questions, comments, and suggestions to improve this channel are very much welcome. Please don't hesitate to do so. Just post it on our comment section below. Again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again on our next video. Until next time.